Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. This is the Non-Farm Payroll Live Trade. It's the 4th of August. Yeah, my name is Russell Shaw. I'm a Senior Market Specialist at FXCM. And of course, my email address is rshaw at fxcm.com. Just going to go ahead and bring up the disclaimers. And we'll start off with the high-risk investment warning. I'll keep this on screen for a few moments. All right, and our market commentaries disclaimer. And uh, we'll do the trade on market scope 2.0. I might, I might look at trading view. If I look at trading view, uh, possibly US dollar or some of the yields. Uh, reason that I look at the US dollar on trading view is just as an employee of FXM, I don't have access to the uh, FXM US dollar basket on my account. Um, let's go ahead and just bring up the uh, market scope. And what you can see here is um, two, uh, two templates. Uh, on the left, we've got a 15 minute uh, with some pivot points. We've got a stochastic. On the right, we've got the one minute. We'll pre predominantly be looking at the one minute chart uh, for the trade. And um, I do also have an hour. Um, there's a tab over here that shows the hourly. And we can uh, take a look, see how Euro US dollar is uh, traveling. Um, so those are the uh, the three screens that we may uh, look at. Um, in terms of what's expected, uh, average hourly earnings month on month uh, expected to come at 0.3%. Last month, they were at 0.4%. The non-farm employment change expected at 205,000. Last month was at 209,000. And the unemployment rates expected to come in at 3.6%, which is the same as uh, the last print. All right, so uh, just going to show you how we shall uh, trade this. Um, what we'll do is we'll wait for the initial impulse. So we're not going to put on a we're not going to put on a position before the announcement. We're going to wait for the announcement. Then we're going to wait for the initial uh, reaction. So either it's going to shoot to the upside or it's going to shoot to the downside. Once we get that impulse move, we're going to wait for the correction. So if it shoots to the upside, we'll wait for a pullback to the downside and then try to get in over here. Try to get in over there. And um, if there is a, uh, a downside impulse move, we'll wait for some sort of bounce. And then uh, we'll try to catch the next impulse. So we'll try sort of short at that position. Uh, we've got about five minutes uh, before we get the non-farm payroll. And um, what we'll do is we'll just set some parameters that we're going to stick to. So the take profit will be at, uh, let me just make this black. The take profit, uh, we will put it at 20 pips. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. Uh, the stop loss will be at 20 pips, so one for one reward to. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, trail the stop loss. Okay, we'll trail the stop loss, and uh, ideally, if we get stopped out, it will be for less than 20 pips. So that's the idea. Um, if we get stopped, uh, and we, if the stop loss hits at 20 pips, it's really uh, protecting the account. It's going to sting, of course, always taking a, a loss stings, and uh, especially in a sort of a public forum. But we'll set it at 20 pips. If we get to take profit uh, at 20 pips. Uh, no, that would be obviously first prize. Just in terms of how we're going to time the uh, entrances, we're going to be using what we call pivot points, pivot point reversals or reference candle reversals. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll look 
for three candles. It may take more than three candles. It really depends. Uh, but the basic setup is three candles. And what happens is we want the candle to the right to close higher than the reference candle. And the reference candle is a candle that's got the lowest low in the pullback. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do. If, on the other hand, we're doing um, a short, it could just be the, the opposite. Okay, so we'll need the candle to the right to effectively close below the reference candle's low. Make that red. And of course, the reference candle has uh, the highest high pullback. So that's what we'll be uh, looking at effectively. Uh, let's just see how much time we've got. We've got about a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, let's take a look and see what's happening on the charts. Okay, so we'll do the um, we'll do the trade on the one minute. Keep an eye on the uh, stochastic, the slow stochastic effectively is a momentum measure. It's very volatile because we're going to be so close to the tick. We're going to be on the one minute chart, so very close to sort of price action. Makes it more volatile, but we can get an idea of the underlying momentum. All right, let's just see how much time we've got. Okay, another 40 seconds. Okay, we've got 25 seconds. We'll see if we can uh, catch a pullback here. Okay, we've got about five seconds now. All right shooting down so money flowing out of the euro into the US dollar oh now it's traversing okay it's very erratic isn't it now it's shooting well this is going to be a tough trade we've got a uncertain candle here and now it's pushing back into euro let's see if we can get all right so the non-farm uh, employment chain came in lower than uh, the forecast, the forecast was at 205, came in at 187, and employment rate slightly down at 3.5, but the average hourly earnings are uh, slightly higher than forecast at 0.4%, same as last month. So, ton of money shooting into the euro at the moment, okay, and that seems to be led by the non-farm employment change missing, coming in at 187. All right, now we're going to start tracking. So we're going to count this as an impulse move up. Take a look at R1, how R1 is the resistance. Let's take a look at that. There's R1 on the hourly. Okay, let's go back to the one minute and see if we can if we can track this. Strong, strong move up. Let's see if it maintains. Just a bit of resistance here. Just starting to move sideways now, sort of over here in this area. We're still waiting for a reference candle. We don't have that yet.
There's still some money going into Euro. They're hitting that uh, resistance area. Okay, we've got an outside candle here that's not going to help us. Um, it's a long candle down. Very tough uh, price action, isn't it? Very tough. And you saw when it uh, when the news first hit, how it shot down, then it shot up, then it was sort of a um, very much like a like a spinning top. And after a long candle down, we're getting a long candle up. Okay, so we're getting something like this. Okay, we'll see if we can use this candle to get in as a reference. Okay, here's the next candle. There we go, slowly moving towards the reference candles high. Okay, another 18 seconds and we'll get another candle. So you can see this is a complex reference candle. So instead of three, we're going to get more than three because this is taking taking part inside the range. So we've got a inside candle and now we're still waiting for the reference candles high to be breached and a close above it. have to be patient, see if we can get in on this pullback.
13 seconds, we'll get the next candle. Okay, so it's turning into a, a complex pivot point reversal, complex reference candle reversal. Let's take a look at the 15 minute. Stochastic pointing up. Okay, another 17 seconds, we'll get the next candle. And now we've been tested in terms of patience. Okay, we've got a new reference candle. Just need some upside momentum. At the moment, we're just moving sideways. Another 15 seconds, we'll get the next candle. There's the lowest low in at least three candles until proven otherwise. Getting pretty close to the reference candles high. Let's see if we can breach it. Okay, we've breached it. Let's see if we can close above it. We've got 40 seconds there. Twenty-five seconds. Ten seconds. All right, so actually getting an error when I'm trying to put the long on. So I'm just going to do this manually. So we'll say that the long was put on over here. And the stop loss would be 20 pips behind. So that's a, that's 20 pips behind and let's just put in the take profit apologies the accounts just uh, giving me a an error or right, let's just move this to 20. I 
All right, let's monitor from this from this angle. Take a look at the uh, stochastic. The stochastic's moved into uh, the upper quintile. If it holds it up upper quintile, then we uh, effectively hit the peak profit. Okay, we're very close. Let's stop moving the stop loss up. So we'll move it right over here. So now we've got uh, at least three pips in profit. Okay, keep an eye on the keep an eye on the stochastic. You can see the sto stochastic's above 80. Okay, we're getting pretty close. We're about seven pips away. Still waiting for some upwards momentum just to take us through. Through this level over here. Okay. So you can see here, here is where we got in, right? On the pullback. We're just waiting for price to take out this resistance area right over here. Okay. Let's move the stop loss up. Keep an eye on that stochastic starting to curl. There we go, starting to push up again. The stochastic's over here. And this is the stochastic. Okay, it's underneath the price, can you see it?
Okay. Okay, so we're trying to hit this red line here. Move it slightly up. So we've got steep resistance above us. And we've locked in we've locked in eleven pips. Yeah, we're still about six pips away. Okay, here's the next candle. There we go. There we go, hit. All right. Here we go. So the take profit's just been hit. All right. So the trade is effectively over. Uh, I want to duly apologize. The account was locked, so I'll just speak to the technical um, team and find out why the account was locked. So I couldn't actually put on the, um, the position, but I'm hoping that you can see how uh, we caught it on the pullback and slowly adjusted the, the, st the stop loss upwards until the take profit was hit. If there's any questions, please go ahead and type those in. Any questions, any comments, please go ahead and type those in. All right, nothing coming in. So uh, what we'll do is we will conclude at this point and uh, we'll do it all again in a month's time. Thank you very much, guys.